Do you want some options to brighten your gray hair or to combat yellow in your gray hair that aren't purple? Then this video is for you. Make sure you watch all the way to the end if you'd like to find out two products that can help not only cover some of the yellow gray hair but also give you a nice depth to it. Hello beautiful butterfly and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I'm Nina. I did write a blog post about the things that I'm going to cover today so if you'd like to go to my website naturallygraceful.com and check it out because it will have links and more explanations to things, please do. I will leave the link in the description. We talked about what causes yellowing with gray hair. We talked about purple products that you can use. But again, for those who don't want to use purple products and you're like, I just want to brighten my hair and not have to deal with worrying about staining or purple things, here are some options for you. This is actually something that would be very helpful for those of you who are gray and relaxed. This is a product that I haven't used just yet, but I did order it on the recommendation of some beautiful butterflies here. And what I love about it is when I opened it up, I saw that it was white. Okay. It was white in its color, which is great. This is from Soft Sheen Carson. It's called Bantu. Okay. And it is a conditioner that you can use in your hair after you shampoo you leave it on for two to three minutes and it is to help with the yellowing that you're dealing with so especially if you are getting your hair chemically processed um, and it is relaxed this would definitely be a great option for you another white uh, product that I love but you use this before you shampoo this is from Maison 276 it is a three-step system this is the first step it is clarify this is also white in color and it's a lot thicker than the Bantu um, but this is awesome I have used it's like pretty much right down here I've used this right before I shampoo my hair it helps to clarify remove some of the things that we talked about that can cause yellow hair uh, pollutants um, you know dirt different things like that that are in our hair to help to keep it bright so if you're looking for something that is not purple to help clarify your hair and it's not going to dry it out then this is something that you could definitely try there's also you could tell how much i like it because there's like barely i think this is probably just the mother that's left apple cider vinegar is also awesome to clarify your gray hair um i don't even know how much is left in here but i basically just go by one to two teaspoons I think I've been telling people tablespoon but one to two teaspoons in eight ounces of water um, it's good to mix this don't just put this straight in your hair because it's very strong and acidic but I would say to dilute some of this depending on how long your hair is um, that will affect the measurements for myself I have short gray hair so I don't need that much a little goes a long way so dilute this dilute this dilute it um, and use distilled water distilled water is also something that can help to alleviate uh, hard water and things like that in your hair so dilute this in some distilled water put it in a spray bottle and you could spray it on your hair you could use that to cleanse your hair too um, as well as you can do an apple cider vinegar rinse while you're in the shower you wait till you finish uh, rinsing out your conditioner and then you put the apple cider vinegar to help clarify even more and you have brighter gray hair and I have used all of these uh, different things this actually is my favorite thing to use uh, non purple option and this is kale and clay Kale and clay is an awesome clay for those who have sensitive scalp. It's good for your skin. Like this is just bomb in general to have in your arsenal. Again, I will be putting the links to these products in that blog post uh, for you to check out in the description box. But yeah, this is awesome. You can use it with distilled water. You can use it with aloe vera. I believe you can also use it with the apple cider vinegar. Um, and you pretty much make it to the consistency that you like. I do have a video I just did on how I mixed it with Rasul and Bentonite clay. This is 
every clay has its own benefits to it but like I said this is great for those who have eczema or um, you know real itchy scalp sensitive scalp this is great to put on your hair so you basically again get two in one it helps to cleanse your hair and it's not stripping so kaolin clay is awesome i will also link the video where i tried this on my hair and skin that you guys can check out and the very last non-purple alternative to helping to brighten your gray hair is hydrogen peroxide I got this tip from a beautiful butterfly on Instagram her name is Nora and she mentioned that she puts a capful to two capfuls again guys this is something that's trial and error if you want do a patch test um, so you don't come for me later on but um, she basically puts a capful to two capfuls in her favorite shampoo so it doesn't have to be a purple shampoo it could be a shampoo that you're using already um, put a little bit of peroxide in there and she says that helps to keep her grays bright so those are four different things that you guys can use you don't have to use a purple product and um, you know to be able to help brighten your hair now what if you're not dealing with the yellowing but you want something to just give your gray hair a little punch because look just because our gray hair is gray doesn't mean that we're not looking for uh, a little bit more pop with the color that we have. So if you guys have been watching with most of my videos, I have mentioned these two awesome temporary dyes that I use. They come out with a wash each time. This is the color Silver Storm by the company Gemini Naturals. I will put the link to her website. And if you want a more more depth to your gray hair I think that this would be a great option it is very moisturizing um, it's on the more thin consistency so it won't weigh your hair down it's great then if you have fine natural hair and you can put that you know I've been using it lately as a spot treater for the salt and pepper in my hair I when I first used it I put it all over my hair and it was nice but it took away from the character of what I'm used to with my gray hair I wouldn't apply it on my white patch again because it still looked a little um, it didn't look as natural and ironically when it was growing out you could see that white patch and then it was darker gray so you could try this out it has uh, more natural ingredients than the next one that I'm gonna show you but if you want some depth to your gray hair this would be a nice temporary option that basically you can apply with each wash on each wash day you have the mafajang here which is more it's heavier it's a um, heavier consistency it does smell more perfumed I, I don't mind the smell but just letting you know that there's a perfumed smell to it it's thicker and my white patch loves it so I would use spot treatment with this particular uh, temporary hair dye this one is both of them are easy to wash out of your hair but as far as like washing it off your hands um, Gemini Naturals is a lot easier to do this one can get a little clumpy so you know just be careful with that but this has more of a whitish like a lighter gray tone that's why I like it for the tips of my white patch if I'm dealing with yellow or I want just a little pop to my hair and this is going on two weeks that I did a spot treatment with both of those dyes I like both of them because they give me options if I want a little depth if I want a little pop so let me know guys if you would be interested in trying um, things like that I like that they're temporary they're not permanent and um, there's something that you can try to help brighten your hair I hope you guys enjoyed this series letting you know why the gr why our gray hair can yellow sometimes as well as some of the solutions that you guys can try I will be doing more specific videos like letting you know how I use this for my hair and then also demonstrating how I spot treat with these two uh, temporary dyes right here. So 
as always i appreciate you guys please make sure to go to naturallygraceful.com check out that blog post check out the links to the products that i mentioned here as always i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video and thank you so much for watching oh and don't forget to check out this merch at redbubble.com you can see that and many other things that i have I had a beautiful butterfly give me lots of encouragement to do stickers and different things like that to help celebrate our gray hair. So please go and check out my shop and let me know what you guys think of it. Get yourself a shirt and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.